I don't know why I did that. Oh, what? I hit them? Ushing. Oh, oh! That was the best spirit transfer of my life. Close mid. Alright, what's up guys? I'm um, sorry about the black bars in the sides. Um, it's just because of the program that I record with. Uh, I get black bars in the side because I don't play on native res. And there's no ignore aspect ratio thing like OBS, so I'm probably just going to see if I can switch back to that. Anyway, so this is just going to be a video on resolution in Counter-Strike. <clears throat> so, let's get right into this. I'm going to put it on an image on screen right now. These are just the... Um, spreadsheets like gun documents that I made about the resolution in counter strike so just have a screenshot these and take a look at them all right so let's get into this first of all I'm going to be starting off with 4 by 3 the aspect ratio 4 by 3 pros and cons recommended resolution 1280 by 1024 stretched which is what I used to play on as well as 1440 by 1080 stretched because that's a custom resolution if you guys don't know how to add that to your config i will do that i'll do a video on that where you can add it to either your nvidia software or your amd radeon software i know how to do it for both but i have an amd card so i can't really show you how to do it with nvidia but i can do a video on how to do it with amd so to start off with pros and cons pros with 4x3 you get better fps by a lot because when back when i had like 50 fps when i played i i changed mine to 4x3 and i get like above 70 which is pretty good. Uh, sh if you have it stretched out, it provides fat. It just seems like the player models are bigger, so it makes them see well. It makes them seem like they're easier to hit. Uh, black bars is what like I know that JW Kenny S used to play on it. Guardian plays with it. I think the best offers in the world use black bars because it makes them focus on the center of their screen, like with the scope of the op, and it makes them easier to hit no scopes. But I. I don't know why, but I personally like 16x10 for helping. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, another pro. It's what most pro players use. I don't know if that's a pro, but I just know that. Uh, and, and it is the easiest to run because but, because it is less pixels. And yeah. cons, it is the worst picture quality, and it's not the native resolution for common day monitors. I know that much. Yeah, there's not many cons for 4x3 in my opinion. Oh yeah, one more thing I just remembered. Player models, if you are unstretched, move faster like if, if you're trying to practice uh like if you're just trying to practice in deathmatch or something pro player like the models not pro players like the model the view models <laughs> fucking view models player models they will move faster i don't know why they just do and as well your horizontal sensitivity will feel a tad off just, just a little bit so don't change your resolution and then hop into an ESCA game or a comp because you're not going to play good. You have to adapt to the like the horizontal sensitivity. Alright, now 16 by 9. The best picture quality, oh wait, the pros and cons, it has the best picture quality. Uh, it is the native monitor resolution. 
and it's good for you it's the best for YouTube videos and streaming for like to see how it looks and stuff for the viewers stuff less stuff like that but I personally don't like it that much but the cons that I can think of really are it's very hardware intensive if you can't if you have like an old graphics card and a kind of shitty CPU like what I what I used to have these are pretty shitty parts don't buy these Intel 2 quad they clocked at 3.2 I think and uh, at Nvidia GeForce 210 or 220 can't remember I think it was a 210 anyways so yeah that's 16 by 9 and 16 by 10 oh con for that not many pros use it but I don't know if that's a con for 16 by 9 or not but uh, 16 by 10 this is what I use I put it down as a hybrid pros and cons best resolutions 1680 by 1050 stretched it's my beloved resolution uh, pros 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 hybrid it, it, you still have high pixel quality so it looks pretty good for YouTube videos and such but it also provides a little bit of the stretched feeling of player models I feel like somewhat it yeah I don't know if this is a pro but it's my res cons tiny in picture tiny 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 difference in picture quality and that's all that I can really think of so uh, this is just some highlights that I found just playing deathmatch so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out Behind your head! <laughs> <laughs>